South African dancer and choreographer Nom Samanaka will be honoring cancer survivors in her compelling traditional urban and African contemporary dance showcase, Dancing Out of Cancer. The concert takes place at the Gibson Kenta Auditorium at the Soweto Theatre on the 29th of October. The event will also commemorate Cancer Awareness Month. She joins me in studio now. Nom Sa, good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. Yours is truly. Good afternoon. Good thank afternoon. you for having me. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. you know, when we look at breast cancer or cancer in general, it has been a quite a traumatic experience for many people, especially yeah. when you're first diagnosed. I Absolutely. Know, yeah. mm. But have we gotten over the stigma or the secrecy around it where people either are too fearful to test or has it become better over the years? Actually, that's why we have Dancing Out of Cancer. Because one of the biggest problems, more especially in the African community, is that when you have cancer, you have been bewitched. I, I used to hear about it until I had cancer. And people would call and say, you know what? Let me take you there. Let me, you know? And, and, and they don't believe that you have cancer. They don't believe there's cancer. So that's why we're educating people with dancing out of cancer. Mm. That yes, we there is cancer and it can be treated. Yeah, mm. and early detection is very important. Early it detection is lives. very, very important. Mm. When there are road shows talking about uh, people to come and test, please, by all means, do it. Do it, you know, because early detection can save your life. Yeah, mm. and, and it's not necessarily for middle-aged women, mm -hmm. you know, as, as previously contemporary belief would uh, let us to understand. Absolutely. You know, encouraged, yeah. you know, to, to test as early as possible. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I was diagnosed 2016, I was with a girl in the ward, um, I think she was about 24, and she had cervical cancer. I couldn't believe it was like, what, 24? I thought uh, cancer, you know, you must be in your 60s and 70s. It doesn't work that way anymore. Things have changed. Yeah. So please, as early as in your teens, if you need to go check, please do it. You know, prostate cancer, men, go check. You know, everything, just go check. If you feel uncomfortable, you know, there's one thing I always say to people that if you have a pain, pain says something to you. It's a way of telling you, to say there's something wrong with my body, mm. please go check. Let the doctor, let the doctor be the one to say no, you are okay. Yeah, and mm. and self breast examination as well. I mean, it's quite a technique, and you yeah. you're likely to miss it if you don't know what you're doing. Of course, uh, of and course. that that is why mm. it's encouraged for you to seek medical um, attention if mm. you're uncertain. But be that as it may, uh, the cancer may not always demonstrate itself mm -hmm. through pain. You know, some some of it is, right. is quite like as well. in my case. I didn't know I have cancer until I had a, um, a cyst. And when, they, when I went to go do this, to remove the cyst, that's when they realized that my cancer had actually spread. It was all over, it was in my lungs, it was in my liver, it was stage four. And I didn't have any pain until the last minute, you know, and I didn't even know the symptoms. Mm -hmm. What are the symptoms of ovarian cancer? Because I did have the symptoms. Only then I read that, oh, okay, when you have ovarian cancer, you have, you're bloated, you feel bloated, you feel, you lose a lot of weight, you know? And I was losing weight, I was like, yeah, me, I'm, I'm, I'm a dancer. You know, me, I work out. And everybody kept saying, you are looking great. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing I have cancer. And the only thing I saw again was my tummy. I, I was developing a big tummy. I was bloated all the time. Mm. And I, if I had known, I would have told the doctor that this is what I'm suffering from. Yeah, you so know. you initially went in for a procedure for to remove yeah, for, a cyst and then yeah. discovered that you exactly. actually had cancer. How, how mm. did that, at that point, how did you feel and what was going through your mind? Um, you know, I think the beauty that the guy did, the, the, the guy that did, was to say to me, I want to speak to you and your family. And when my family came, and in my head I was laughing at him, I was like, ah, this guy. And when my family came in, he said, we suspect cancer. He didn't say you have cancer. And I laughed at him, I was like, cancer, me, no ways. But when it was finally, you know, confirmed, mm. I was angry. I was 
angry. I was really angry. I, I, I lost my mind because I was like, it's not possible. Yes, I mean, know? you're a fitness mm -hmm. fanatic, as you say. Yeah, exactly. um, you know, well-respected mm -hmm. choreographer, dancer, mm -hmm. actor. There's no way. And obviously yeah. le leading a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And I think these yeah. are some of the myths that um, you would think if, if you have it within your blood lineage or it's in your, you know, DNA, uh, that you're likely to have cancer, which is probably the truth um, but but lifestyle as well the environment things that we eat yeah you know for example exactly. in my family there's no history of um, cancer necessarily so it Look, was quite a shock yeah my know, mom you, was, was, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer mm. you know but I, I I took it that you know I had just lost a brother who died in a car accident with his wife and I took it oh it was a, it was very stressful and traumatic to my mother mm -hmm. that's why it caused her uh, cancer and that's how I took it yeah. <laughs> and that was it until I had cancer myself and I started going deep into it to realize that actually it's yeah, it's, it's been it's in beyond, the family yeah. and nobody spoke about yeah, it. Yeah, nobody spoke about All it. All right, and, mm. um, and I mean, your, your, your work is phenomenal, by the way. For those that may not be familiar, you started the Rainbow of Hope magazine. You had featured in a film with Swungile Kumalo or yeah. a production <laughs> and another film called Exile that uh, depicts the story of an African woman living or being displaced. Right, um, right. And living in, is it uh, in, in the U.S.? In the U.S., yeah. right. But yes. we want to talk about the production and encourage our viewers to make their way to the Soweto Theatre right. at the Gibson Kente stage. Yep. Um, so how do you put how do you portray the story on stage on surviving cancer and supporting right. uh, cancer survivors? Um, in this case, what we're doing, we call the the show, the concert, Dancing Out of Cancer, a celebration of life. So what we do, we celebrate cancer survivors and uh, caregivers because as a cancer patient. You should know this, that you can't do it without a caregiver. So we celebrate the caregivers and we're, giving, we're trying to give hope to those living and infected by cancer. So it will be at the Soweto Theatre and it's musical. So we, it's music, dance, poetry. So all the art forms are together. So that's why I'm so excited. And do you purchase the ticket at Pick and Pay and um, Web Ticket? And the tickets are 250 Mm. Yeah, so it's going to be a phenomenal afternoon next week, sat and, and Sunday, the and 29th. I'm sure all your pro <laughs> protégés that have gone through uh, your training as youngsters in teaching yeah. them ballet, uh, <laughs> and many of us will, will certainly come and support uh, at, the, at the Soweto Theatre. We really appreciate it. It's at the on the 29th. On the 29th of October, 29th at 3 o'clock, okay. Soweto Theatre. Tickets are 2 50 Patches, pick and pay, web tickets. Really, and it'll be really it. great to see all of you there. Just come, let's celebrate, let's dance, let's go crazy. And let's live. You know? yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. That's uh, <laughs> Nob Samanaka joining us to discuss the production that is currently, or on the 29th rather, that will be at the Soweto Theatre starting at 3 o'clock.